Sandy Stay. As a professional trainer, I'm always asked to pose dogs for videos or photography shoots. So I want to give you some tips on how to get the perfect photo of your dog. Yes, that's very good. Here's a couple of things that you don't want to do. One is repeat your dog's name Sandy. over and over again. Sandy. Sandy. <gasps> Naturally, if they Sandy. listen to you, they're going to come oh. right to you. Secondly, you don't want to get a piece of food that they really like and wave it by the camera because obviously that's an enticement to come forward and get the food. Oh, no. Third, you don't want to pull out their favorite toy. What's this? What's this? All that says is, okay, hey, come on, let's play. Oh. Here's a little trick if your dog doesn't know how to stay. Put them up on something come on, where up. there's a little bit of an edge. That way, when they're up there, you could use a little bit of noise by the camera and it'll get their attention and they'll think before they jump down. Good girl. This is another little trick that I have. I'll just pick up a bag and open it up and they'll start looking at me as if, what are you doing? So any action behind the camera in which you're reaching into a bag or you're pretending to eat perks their interest to the point where they're interested but they're not gonna jump off and run to the camera. Good girl. What I like to do is get things that they're unfamiliar with. Some noises, some things that they may not have heard a lot so that it entices them to look as opposed to come and play with me or come and get food. I love finding all sorts of noises that will get your dog to turn their head. When a dog does that cute little head cock, they're really saying, what are you doing? What is that? To get that perfect picture, go through your house and find things that'll make your dog look, but not leap. <laughs>